What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Tony Blake from Tony Blake Projects, your cultural and travel expert. Y'all, I'm so excited that I legit get to say that now. I just completed my certification in cultural diversity and inclusion. So, <laughs> Today's video, I'm going to address a question perks about being a flight attendant and just my job in general as it relates to our flying benefits. For those of you that don't know, I am a flight attendant. I've been a flight attendant. I just celebrated my two-year anniversary. However, I was traveling way before I became a flight attendant, so it is just a bonus of just being able to do it more frequently. Now back to differ, because I feel like I travel less now that I'm working. Yes, with my company, we fly for free. The best part about my company is that we have partnerships with a lot of other major airlines, so we get to fly on those airlines as well. The employee, your registered companion or significant other, and your children. And beyond that, we have other partnerships where we um, get a discount on airfare. Very rare, especially myself. Y'all know I'm the frugal queen. I do not, um, if my company doesn't fly there, there's a chance I won't be going. Now, I will say I have been taking advantage of flying um, other airlines. Been a Delta fan for a long time and the fact that I can fly them now for free sometimes I will jump on Delta just because. You see in the clip we go in a backdoor um, application and we um, book our flights and we're placed on a standby list. Alright guys so I just landed in Philadelphia and I'm going to look at the board to see what are some options for me to <laughs> go to. Now, Philly has a, quite a few late departures. Let's see what trouble we can get into tonight. Now, the standby list goes by who checks in first. That's who has priority. So if you ever pay attention, if you're ever at a, you know, at the gate waiting and you see all these people waiting, they're usually standbys. And you can tell because it's very transparent. Companies now put it on the board and you'll see, um, the standby list of what order you're in. I will say one perk of being a flight attendant or a pilot. So most companies, especially major airlines, offer free travel to their employees. So that means your ticket agent, your ramp agents, office employees, they all travel for free. Those jump seats are where you see the flight attendants or pilots sitting on an aircraft. You notice that they don't sit in regular seats. So usually there are extra jump seats on an aircraft. Even if there are 10 people trying to get on the flight and I am number, number 10 and there's only one or two seats left, I'm getting on that flight in front of everybody else because I can sit in the jump seat. I'm qualified to sit in the jump seat. Same thing with pilots. They are qualified to sit in the flight deck in that jump seat, okay? Versus a regular employee, gay agent to get whatever it is, they cannot. Okay. Security, uh, major airlines, we don't necessarily go through the regular security. We have a program that we use that allows us to expedite through that. So everyone asks me all the time, do I love my job? I absolutely do. I love my company. I don't see myself <laughs> going back to regular travel. I'm on medical leave. My flying benefits are temporarily suspended, but my, my companions and whatever are not. So my daughter is actually going to Dominican Republic tomorrow. Having your, your, uh, beneficiaries being able to travel take advantage of that because I needed to go somewhere and I looked up the fare and it was like $200 and to me back in the day that was so cheap you know to go where I wanted to go and just now I'm just like no it's not that serious I'll wait 
so she's going to dr tomorrow i think i just booked it and the taxes were 42 dollars to go look how much it was to come back when i go to jamaica pay 40 something to go and i pay 120 i think to come back so international flying is not completely free and jamaica is one of the most expenses i i know from here to japan is only like 40 something dollars so it just depends on the country and some countries international countries are, are free i think she's going to saint martin in a couple of days as well from here to saint martin it's free I love it. I love being able to just jump on an aircraft and go where I need to go. That is how I spend most of my weekends. I show up at the airport after work because I commute for work. Um, look at the board, see what's going on, what it will cost me as far as maybe an Uber, transportation, um, how inconvenient it is for my friends. You know, is it okay to crash somewhere, a hotel? So those, that's what most of my days off looks like. Showing up at the airport, looking at the board. So, so I decided on Fort Lauderdale. I got first class, one C. I got first class on the way here too. So there, <laughs> the advantage to being a flight attendant or a pilot or whatever we literally can just jump on whatever flight seeing what works for that time period it, I would not trade that for anything in the world so to answer some of your questions um, yes I love my job don't see myself doing anything right now probably will see myself retiring because once you retire you have benefits for life as well so that is also a perk of being in the airline industry again depends on the company um, and those are things that you need to research when you're looking at getting into this industry what are the long-term benefits okay all right so hope this video was helpful if you have any questions about the airline industry drop them in the comments below all right Mwah.